for joining us tonight. I'm Genevieve Curtis. A party turned violent. A hundred rounds of gunfire, hundreds of people running for their lives, and three of those people have died as the shooters responsible are still out there. Now we're learning about the young victims, including Kelly Miller. Kelly's family gave us this video. They say she wanted to be a singer and to break into the industry. Now the tire marks tell the story from last night's burnouts and celebrations to cars trying to pull out to safety. Nine people in all were shot and five more hit by cars with no known suspects right now. This all happened after a party stretched into Sunday night along Beatty's Ford Road in West Charlotte. Our Glenn Counts is there live right now. Glenn, this happened nearly 24 hours ago and police are still out on the scene, right? Well, Genevieve, yes, uh, they definitely have a uh, presence here. But uh, as you can see, Beatty Sport Road is back open. You can also see there's a group of folks that are uh, uh, over there across the street. Uh, they arrived earlier as a vigil for one of the victims. And uh, some folks are still hanging out, as you can see, and still just trying to uh, understand all of the madness that took place this morning. More than 100 shots, three dead, others seriously wounded. Instead of a joyous block party, it was a night filled with fear and regrets. It's disturbing. It's very, it's very disturbing. As a black man in this city, <clears throat> that bothered me. Investigators are looking at reams of video, and while police struggle to get witnesses to come forward, they are pursuing multiple leads. This afternoon, organizers of the Juneteenth celebrations wanted to make it clear that their event is not tied to the violence because their sanctioned celebration ended early Friday night and did not stretch into Sunday. Case closed with the organizers who've done that. They don't have no control over anyone just cruising or hanging out or doing stuff like that. They don't have control over that. On social media, the incident has been criticized in racially tinged language, but organizers say that those who want to see only through stereotypes are missing the point of Juneteenth. I don't care how they see it. This is about black community. This is about black liberation. This is about supporting one another. Well, police are confident they will be able to solve this case, but they say they do need some more community involvement. In other words, they're looking for some additional witnesses. And uh, right now they think the suspects are probably local, but everything is still on the table. Back to you.